and welcome to Geeker Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll explore additional functionality and deeply a bit more inside the world machine applications to creating different terrain. In these tutorials, we're going to create a snow mountain, so we'll work with uh, two different natural um, filters. One is will be erosion, and another one is snow. So let's begin with our settings, and right here first what I want to do it is remove these groups okay and as well we don't need a terrace for this so we'll go to delete we have an advanced perlin and one thing what we notice right here we have a kind of like mountain bridge going so instead I want to create one single a mountain to do this I will go and can use it layout generator so we'll go inside the generators and we'll go ahead and create one layout generator Let's double time click to go inside and also I'm zoom out coming right here. So I want to create a mask and a high map from this layout. To do this, I'm going to use a circle. So we'll go right here, start increasing. Next, after I'm just go outside and right click to deselect. So right here I have it my circle. I can resize, make slightly smaller and reposition as well. So what I'm going to do is just make a little bit less fallout, smaller, just probably about this size will work. Okay. Again, it's depend if you think this is too high. We can always create a very small top right here, maybe like around there, and take fallout and just increasing so we have an interesting kind of effect. After this, let's go back to our node view or our device view and I'm going to use this high field and connect to the shape guide so you can notice right here we have a nice already mountain created except a little bit uh, with masking we need fix so I'm again select another one and going to the mask input and enable here so right here you can see with the advanced pearl with masking we cut a little bit more on the side so it's more look like a mountain again it's kind of nice because we created two output from layer generator one is a shape and another one is a masking anytime if you think this shape is too round or one add randomness you can go inside layout select use a breakout and you can see how it's changed shape of course we can go inside and change um, a little bit breakout make it a less fractal or more it's depend on the, how you're going so I'm just going to leave like this so it's give it a bit more random to us and we can also preview on a mountain you can see it's changed slightly shape so let's go ahead inside advanced fractal settings and right here we have it seven kilometers let me go ahead and try maybe bring down slightly details maybe around four kilometers will work but the resolution is four by four kilometers or eight by eight so next we have it a rigid it's fine and you know maybe just increase presence slightly so we have a little bit more details I will leave it as default our elevation center so we can adjust slightly down maybe 600 meters about 700 we can play a little bit more and see how it will work and steppiness which is create sharpened kind of point let's increase that what is created for us in this case we'll have a nice steep mountain that we can add erosion effect and also can add some snow effect as well okay rest I want to leave it as default so we're okay here at this point we created a mountain with the advanced perlin so next what we need it is start adding effects like erosion and the snow other ones so for this let's go inside the natural uh, filters click on erosion and add it okay next I'm going to just connect right here to the erosion effect and again we can can click on preview and look um, effect we have it okay let's go open erosion at this point and we can work 
the one what I want to do is switch to channel it will provide a little bit harder line for us okay and next um, we will have it no filter you know duration maybe about right we'll see how it will go um, segment we can increase make a little bit even more carry or less so just maybe increase more so we have a little bit more on the bottom for at this and how I say we can again modify this if needed and also I want increase geological so it will dramatically will increase how the effect you can see it's take all those sharpness make more effect applied to this okay let's go click OK we can click to preview build and right here you can see we have a nice effect already applied gonna work very nicely so let's go ahead and now I want to add next node to erosion it is um, snow so I'm going to click right here add snow and we're just going to connect right at this point okay let's go open properties for the snow and modifying intensity we can again can have it less and more so I want probably maybe about you know will be fine evaporative balance it's will it's happen lower or higher so we'll maybe just leave it above so vaporize a little bit faster than collecting we have a snow amount that is actually I want to pop up so I want to have a lot of snow on the mountain okay we can just create around here and a snow line right here you can preview just let's set slightly okay. just small eye adjustment for the also mask yeah, I think 45 so again we can try a little bit later right now I'm just kind of presetting values so we can look okay let's click OK and at this point I want to actually preview see how all this will um, showing to me so we can go and start create a coverage and other effect okay so other things I recommend use it for the snow now it is a basic coverage macro so let's go inside the macro open and right here you'll find basic coverage under surfaces if you do not have this you can go on a website and download it again it's created by Steven Smith the creator of the world machine so let's preload it this macro and again to see how much complex that will work we can open and click intro macro so you can see how complex this macro will do it so it's have a lot of time for us to go just reuse it so we don't need to rebuild it over and over and macro will accept the terrain output and erosion so we have it both we take primarily input and erosion to snow mass effect so right here you can see now we have our snow map Again, let's switch this present because we have the rock vegetation we don't have it that in our other ones and what I want to do I want to go to take a sand and just say it gray okay a rock I'll just set black because what I needed actually I don't look really for colors I'm looking to create a map for me map of the snow distribution so it's what I'm doing and because I will go to use the view so what I'm applying just where's the snow distribution going and version uh, versus two well, actually you know what let's put it gray right here so you can see we have distribution with erosion and snow depositing again we can pop up a little bit maybe erosion to wider so we have a little bit more snow deposit in this area okay let's click OK and this will provide for us map and we can look it's uh, again providing coverage the texture bitmap so we can go and create output for this let's go create bitmap output right here and we can connect directly the next things what I want to do it is modify so we'll go and let's name this um, snow cover Okay, now I want to create um, continue creating kind of mountains overall shape 
the one thing you look right here on erosion we have a flow map and I do like want to use flow map to create additional coloring maybe on the rocks um, I cannot if I create my basic output you'll notice I can select I cannot really connect so I need to convert this let's go inside the converter and we will use a colorizer for this and now by using colorizer I can create my flow map to my output map and this one I will again switch to the let's erase so we'll go as flow on this and as colorizer let's preview we have it black and white it's precisely what I was looking for Okay, so other map probably will be good if we can create it will be snow depth mask right here um, the reason it may provide additional information and I do like create a different type maps and after apply with material distribution so it may look good the easiest way we can select this two colorizer bitmap control C copy and control V to paste so we have it at this point and we can just select and add to height map Right here you can see we have a nice map applied. Okay, already with colorizer and let's go with this depth. Click OK. So at this point we have our height output. We have the flow bed map. And again you can always rename. So kind of knowing this. This is our snow depth. Okay. And this one is our snow overlay. Kind of help us to define when we start working. You can see it is doesn't look very complex to create a snow mountain with snow map again because we are using this macro which have a lot of information inside the one thing also what I want to do I want to actually take this height map and connect this to the output on a snow because with this we have it all erosions other things we just had without erosion and snow effect so I want to put it right here so I think right now we set right and I think we're ready to produce those maps and render but before we do this let's go inside the world extend and resolution you notice right here we have it eight eight kilometers our height is 2600 so let's go just set 2000 so it'll be easy again this is only represent the view for us okay we'll go to resolution and in resolution you notice we have it 513 by 413 and this will be lock if you use the basic edition if you're using standard edition what we're using right now you can modify increasing size and I can show you so we can have it one by 513 and we can switch other one to higher resolution and you can see what is different will be in quality again I do recommend at least produce 124 by 124 with plus one it's so overlay here to 125 or 204 in some cases I was creating even a higher resolution but this will take a little bit of time to render in a standard edition because it's using only two threads to render. So for the this tutorial, I'll do 513 and I will do also 204 so we can compare both of them. Okay, well let's do with 104 first right here. And I'm going to click build. You can see how fast it's building. So it's take a little bit time, but again, it is not bad at all on this resolution. The higher resolution will take a longer to build. Okay, it's done building, and it took 38 seconds to build. So it's not bad for this resolution. We'll click OK. And next, we go inside and just save all of our exit. And you notice right here, right, it says not exporting. So let's go open. And reason why, because not yet set. So I need to set up properly output click OK and now we are ready to export okay we'll go back and click export all so that all successfully exported next what I want to do it is going inside the 
settings and let's decrease this to 512 so we'll go ahead click OK and now what I want to do I want just to have it says this 512 on the end so I know this maps will be so set to 512 so I can know their smaller resolution okay let's go again 512 okay open right here height map 512 click OK again now we can go ahead open and before we do this we need build again because slow resolution so let me click build the world it should take much faster now because less resolution okay, and, and it's all done so we can click OK actually to click export all click OK so right now let's go inside the view what we're going I'm going to use to look on those maps 